All right, so there's the radio. It's an older Jensen volume. I'm not gonna turn it way up. That's about a third or so. It's got two speakers in the electronics box. A uh, new ICOM VHF radio. Um, I did do the DSC number for emergencies. Uh, it has GPS built in. There's a uh, positive and negative electrical box here. They all terminate uh, back aft. There are some light switches here. The anchor light on the T-top, the forward deck, aft deck, and the radio itself. And then over here, I installed uh, the water resistant uh, two uh, 12 volt accessory uh, plugs as well. So you can charge your cameras and stuff. Let's turn this down. Uh, might as well work on the deck here. So on the starboard side, starting in the middle, uh, I've got three fenders. There's one behind me, we'll see that in a moment. Trash bag comes with it. Fishing tackle and fishing gear does not. Uh, these bags for the T-top do go. Uh, I have tackle boxes in those, the watertight ones with the O-rings. I like that. There's another one on the uh, port side as well. Um, there's a storage hatch up forward. This here, uh, it's, it's not terribly deep, but it does hold a lot. Uh, I use it primarily for tackle. Uh, it is not insulated, but you can use it for a little bit larger fish. And I threw some drinks in there too, because I always forget to bring drinks. And then uh, anchor storage is up here. We got uh, a separate marker as well as a oversized anchor and it has 200 feet of line. Okay, so coming back aft. Step up here. The uh, top of the T-top. Deck light again, electronics box. Uh, radio and VHF radio. I got the antenna down right now. So, and then there's a live well if you want to use it, or there's a raw water wash down. I have to dry it out. That's what the rag is in there for. Uh, and I also have the uh, tube so you can fill it up if you want to keep live bait. Coming back aft, I hang my gaffs uh, on the T top. It's just convenient, keeps them out of the way. A couple of little mesh bags, one here. I keep uh, soap and a whistle. Keep my spare VHF radio here. And then there's another one over there. Uh, you can put documents or whatever. Uh, I purchased the uh, life jacket bag. That goes with the boat as well. Next boat I buy will have one built in. And then back here, there's an aft seat. The I still have the cushions, but they're not in good shape. Um, most of those boxes will stay with me. One box of uh, emergency gear will go and then I have a manual hand-operated bilge pump in there. Um, and there's a 12 volt battery right there. That's the house battery, not the engine battery. And that hose you see is a deck overflow. Uh, this is a self-bailing deck, port and starboard side there. And then on the other side over here on the starboard side is your primary battery for the engine. Uh, there's two bulbs down there. One is for the big engine, one's for the small engine. The small engine has its own fuel filter. I don't think you can, yeah, it's right there. It has the glass bulb on it. And the primary engine has another fuel bulb uh, filter with it as well. They're both uh, hard plastic, so you can drain them. The uh, little plastic thing you see in the back back there that's semi-clear is a automatic battery uh, transfer so uh, if you run the house battery down it won't allow you to run the uh, motor battery down bench seat um, it's a two-way seat sorry about that it's a two-way seat there's a sitting position here where you can actually look aft while you're fishing or you can move it forward when you're operating the boat. 
I installed a ski mirror here for towing. You can see when your passengers fall off, that goes with the boat as well. And then under the seat uh, is a cooler. It is insulated, it does okay. You can use it as a fish box. I like to put uh, dry clothes and towels and stuff like that in there most of the time. Your raw water wash down is right there. You can connect a regular garden hose to it. Also, I have a fire extinguisher sitting back there. This is just a footrest, nothing else. This is access to your fuel tank, fuel sender. I have a throwable seat cushion there. And then a six gallon fuel tank for the small engine that's separate just in case the uh, fuel gets contaminated. And then your start switch, your emergency kill switch, your throttle, standard helm equipment. Richie compass on top, right in front of the operator. Um, added this, of course, for your fish hooks, pliers, knife, whatever, and a good grab handle here. Windshield is not cracked. This makes a good grab handle. This uh, stainless steel bar all the way across the top. It does have a middle section here. And then the T-top has two real good grab handles uh, as well. So. Let me uh, stop this and turn all of the electrical off. 